Welcome back for another video. In today's video we'll be exploring the top 3 captain picks for game week 3. It's an exciting game week for captaincy because there's a widespread of options and nailing your captaincy this week will gain you more rank. I read every comment so let me know who you've got the armband on. Before we jump in, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed, so if you like this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. First up is Xiongmin Sun, who is top for predicted points this game week on 5.6. He scored the winner in game week 1 against City, following on from his crazy pre-season form of 3 goals and 4 assists in just 5 games. He was pulled off early in game week 2 against Wolves, Nuno said he felt something in the warm-up. However, the latest news from the Spurs camp is that there's no injury and he's in good condition. If that remains the case, he's a great captain pick. He faces Watford at home, who have conceded four goals so far this season, from two goals in each of their two games played. Kane made a cameo off the bench versus Wolves, so there's a chance he starts too, but it's not one to overthink and the two of them combined a record number of times last season. Next up is Bruno Fernandes, who faces Wolves away at Molyneux Stadium. Bruno burst out of the gates in game week 1 with a hat-trick, followed by a disappointing one-pointer against Southampton as Man United were held to a one-all draw. Last season Bruno scored more points than any other player, so don't rule him out from one bad game week, he's still a solid pick and likely to have the highest captaincy of all players. Bruno's owned by 95% of the Elite 1K, which is a collection of the top 1000 FPL managers to have graced the game so he's certainly backed by the experts too. The caveat of Wolves is that under their new manager there's a level of unpredictability on what to expect. Defensively Wolves have put up fairly good numbers, conceding just two big chances and two goals. They're bang in the middle for expected goals conceded too, despite playing Leicester and Spurs so far. They'll be extremely motivated to pick up their first points of the season, which could make it a tough matchup. Whether that's enough to justify looking elsewhere is a difficult one to answer, but let's take a look at the final pick. The final pick is Mikel Antonio, who is another player that burst out the gates in Game Week 1 with a goal and two assists. Antonio was unplayable in Game Week 2, hitting double digit points again with two goals and an assist. He's currently the highest scoring player in the game and a fantastic pick for Game Week 3. It's unclear whether he or Rice are on penalty duties after Antonio missed the one he took in Game Week 1. The hope is that he remains on them as it's a top quality to have in an FPL asset for obvious reasons, much like Calvert-Lewin who has now taken them for Everton and scored one in Game Week 2. Antonio faces Crystal Palace at home which will be their second fixture at home in a row. There's some intrigue as to how much better teams will perform at home with the return of fans. It's perfectly logical and something worth factoring into decision making. Last season it was something I largely ignored, but I'm making a conscious effort to consider it more this season. Crystal Palace conceded three goals in game week one to Chelsea, and they'll face another tough test against the Hammers this coming game week. We could see a drop off in West Ham's performances once the Europa League begins. Likewise, Moyes will be desperate to pick up maximum points before the season really picks up in difficulty. I mentioned at the start of the video that there's a lot of reasonable options this game week, so drop a comment and let us know who you've got the armband on. I read every comment. For now, thank you for watching today's video. If you missed a video on the players who could miss upcoming game weeks due to the international break, make sure you give that a watch. Tomorrow I'll also be posting my Game Week 3 team selection video. With two transfers banked, there will be a certain transfer made this game week, and likewise I'll be sharing who I've captained. See you all soon for the next video.